Hi, I'm Renee McLaughlin, Master T-Tap Trainer. And one of the biggest things that people say to me is, Renee, I love doing T-Tap, get great benefits, but I just don't have the time and or I just can't seem to get started. So I thought I would give you a bunch of different moves. I'm gonna call them this kitchen sink stretches that you can do right here when you're in your kitchen, when you're cooking for your family, when you're cooking for your kids, when you're waiting for your coffee to boil. Here we go, you ready? First one is going to be a calf and lower leg stretch. Because did you realize when all that fascia and your legs are tight at the bottom, doesn't it feel like you just don't have any energy and you don't have a spring in your step? These are gonna give you a spring in your step. So let's get started. I'm just gonna be right here with my hands, right at my kitchen sink. I'm gonna put my hands shoulder width apart. For the first part of these, I'm gonna be pressing down against the counter to, you guys know, get the ribs up. So feet hip width, I'm gonna take this hip leg back. I'm gonna go onto my ball joints. My heels are high, kind of like you're in a stiletto. I'm gonna pr push now into the, against the kitchen sink, and then I'm going to drop that foot straight down with the heel, front knee rebends, it's over my ankle. I needed to adjust, so you may too. And then really think now, press down, get the ribs up, Think tailbone down, stretching through that back heel. All right, you ready? Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna lift that heel up high, press the palms to keep the ribs up. So press straight up. Now notice I didn't lean forward. I'm going straight up. So the front knee bent, uh, straightened a little bit. And then you're gonna press straight down, ribs up. Let's do it four times. Press up, tuck, push against it to press down. Push up to lift. Push against the counter to go back. Two more times, press up and back. Check real quick to make sure that that back heel isn't turning too much. When that happens, your hips aren't level. You won't get the same stretch. So I like to kind of think, if I have light bulbs right here on my hips, they're going straight ahead. Last one, push up, press away, push up. Bring that leg in. Got two legs, gonna do the other side. But you know what, my coffee's not quite ready yet. I still have time. So I'm gonna drop this straight back. I'm gonna lean back slightly, press through the back knee and the heel. You're ready, let's go straight up. Press up, tuck under, push to press back down. Press up, push back. Two more, press up, push back. Keep this hip forward, press up, push back. Oh, that feels good. Push up, bring the legs together. Not only are you done, but the coffee's ready and you can get on with your day. I'd love for you to try this. Try it. Come back. Give me some comments. Love to hear how it works for you. Bye.